Good morning and welcome back folks. We were having an interesting chat with uh, Bimali who uh, is one of the organizers of the campaign to rise up and stand up uh, for uh, against rather uh, gender based violence and for gender e equality and uh, you know this campaign obviously is happening on the, the 25th that is this Sunday kicking off at around 3 o'clock at the golf face green so if you're interested in this and you should be uh, in my opinion you should head out there as well and also a bit uh, about the helpline I would just like to mention the helpline again it's a zero double one four seven one eight five eight five that's a women in need helpline once again zero double one four seven one eight five eight five now uh, Bimali coming back to this campaign uh, now there are key stakeholders uh, involved in this and uh, several organizations coming together to organize this and uh, of course the 16 days of activism and the different activities included in this if you just like to mention uh, the different organizations who are involved and uh, the specific uh, fields that, that they will be uh, contributing from well, um, there are 30 organizations mm -hmm. uh, that are part of the forum. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, there are seven UN agencies, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there are there are non-governmental organizations: the Ministry of Women, mm -hmm. uh, Ministry of Child Development and Wi Women's Affairs, mm -hmm. the National Committee of Women. They are also part of the forum. The the Women and Media Collective, Women in Need, mm -hmm. National Peace Council, mm -hmm. Sarvo there. Then we have international organizers like Oxfam Australia, Oxfam uh, Great Britain. Mm -hmm. Then the UN agencies are like ILO, UNICEF, um, UNHCR. And the forum is chaired, as I said earlier, by UN UNFPA, United mm -hmm. Nations Population Fund. Then we have UNICEF, WHO, UNAIDS, mm -hmm. and UNDP, which are all part of the forum. And uh, we have uh, CBOs, like uh, community-based groups like Mothers and Daughters of Lanka. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, Association of War Affected Women. Then we have uh, so several networks, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so it's a collective of organizations that are working in mm -hmm. the area of gender-based, to end gender-based violence right through the year. Right. So and also if, if someone at home is just wondering, okay, I'm not a part of any of these organizations, but I want to get involved, I want to, uh, you know, be a part of this campaign, how can they get involved? Well, uh, they can come on the 25th and mm -hmm. join the campaign at Golf Face and on th at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we invite uh, anyone who's interested. And actually, uh, this year's campaign is going beyond the forum, which mm -hmm. I need to mention, because it's tapping into the 1 billion rising campaign mm -hmm. and it's engaging other trade unions, universities, mm -hmm. uh, other research organizations, private sector. Mm -hmm. So it's going beyond, meaning we are inviting them to be part of uh, the activities that are happening which begin on the 25th mm -hmm. and that will go on till next year 14th of February 2013 mm -hmm. when the activities of the 1 billion rising campaign will culminate okay. so uh, it is st the beginning is 25th so we will be engaging right through with other stake other stakeholders in different sectors and uh, this campaign about the 1 billion rising is also a visionary campaign uh, which is happening on a global scale if I'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and uh, if you just like to mention uh, you know how, how Sri Lanka became a part of it well actually we were invited mm -hmm. as the forum to coordinate by the South Asian chapter from India and uh, Kamala Basin, she is the coordinator for South Asia. So there are several groups, Surya in Batiklo, they are, uh, they are also coordinating work. So together, we, uh, the Sri Lanka is also part of uh, the South Asian chapter, mm -hmm. which is uh, launching its uh, the 1 billion rising in Sri Lanka. But every there are several countries that have joined, many, many countries, and uh, they, who have already launched the 1 billion rising campaign in their countries. Mm -hmm. So um, it is to actually link with lots, many groups beyond uh, the normal group, like the normal people, normal groups that we work with who are already having programs to end violence against you, but beyond that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for we've had uh, different uh, perspectives from different people uh, who are involved in, uh, you know, work relating to women. Uh, and also, I from your perspective, if you'd just like to uh, give out a message to the general public about this issue, and if you'd just like to, you know, share some of your thoughts with uh, the general public as well. Well, uh, one of the main things is, I think, we can't keep silent mm -hmm. uh, when you are when you come face to face with uh, 
an abusive uh, relationship or uh, violence in your life or you see violence happen to someone else harassment in buses we also did a study at the forum uh, two campaigns ago about pub in public transport harassment in public transport the uh, one in four women are harassed in public transport uh, because uh, so we can't stay silent that is a very important issue when we see a child being harassed or abused or a woman or a, uh, you know in public transport or at work mm -hmm. we need to have the strength to stand up it is not easy and also in our life if we if or in your life if you are going through some form of violence it is important to know that you can live a violent free life and there are services for you to access mm -hmm. that's very important so it's important that you break your silence to the people who can help you at least exactly and that is uh, specifically what this campaign is all about let's rise up speak up uh, together to end violence against women and girls the main theme of uh, the campaign that will be kicking off on sunday the 25th uh, three, three o'clock at the golf face green uh, which will move on to 16 days of activism where there will be different activities happening all around the country and all around the globe if you know because this is a global uh, campaign as mm -hmm. well and ending off uh, in de uh, december so if you'd like to be a part of it once again please do join with us and also once again a mention about the helpline 0114718585 0114718585 now bimali uh, we have to wrap up today's edition of good morning sri lanka with that but thanks a lot for being a part of good morning sri lanka and also uh, on your insights about this campaign and about how people can get involved as well thank you so much Thank you, Mewan, and thank you for giving the time for the MTV network for all the support. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, once again, uh, we'll be back again on Monday, same time on uh, MTV Sports. So keep watching. Good morning, Sri Lanka. Have a great day.